deciphering the water from source to sea and lulling to the sound of the big wall of San Jose and string-lined tailors with briefcases, I almost fell. When asked for evidence, you can't deny the patience of a wanderer. He shares his anger in loving detail with a courtroom full of spit-bottom summer grads from 49 and slowly awakened from shopping mall depth by this unstoppable tirade of eloquent effing. The judge is pinioned two-dimensional and left flapping with history and talcum powder reasoning. The tirader has made his point and leaves the room to try again on anyone who listened. And then suddenly, without warning, the room sucks itself so flagrantly that we leave squeezed out of a side like an envelope full of frog spores. Drop by drop we fall through a river of atoms. Hydrogen, oxygen, neon, lenin, xenon, and banging off from walls of weed like silverfish in an aquatic pinball. The light fades as we separate finally and each drifts into a course a million miles apart in the same rivulet. I wiggle with mine down the side of a chrome can of beer just brought out from the freezer into the poolside sunshine. You bang into salt granules as you tumble down the pockmarked features of a mother's face as she stares into the hole in the ground. Others may find themselves born and dying in an instant as the raindrop hits the barbecue, or kept for years in a non-evaporating tomb marked holy water, whilst others are flung through rose heads at the foreheads of the faded, and mingle with the drying sweat that once was evidence of life and vibrancy. The courtroom now is a distant paper memory, like a Christmas card or a fist. You hug me as I come out of this, my beautiful red-haired wife the whole neighbourhood would like to kiss. Back to bed, she dreams, and pulls you over the side of her nest. The green edges finish, and the sharp, eggy breath of the four flame-red chicks hits you as you topple into the wiry bed beneath them. And after forgetting about me and them, Open your mouth to join them, competing for a bit of motherly love, a little bit of warmth, a red and red pink and red semi-regurgitated red slop red of care and comfort. If you get strong, you'll want more of the red and a little less of the pink, and soon you'll be pushing, better not deny it, pushing the other little flame-down fuckers out of the nest. And it's just you and Mama you and your own feeder till she stops, pulls the sauce from you and says, fly or die. And in a sunrise storm you hurtle towards the ground before somewhere in the flapping, crapping chaos of feathers, Uncle Instinct kicks in and you do what's needed to fly. Before you can even appreciate this extraordinary development, you are thinking about food and are above a river looking down with spasmy sideways eyes and noises of wind and wing beat and somewhere knowledge of sunlight versus insect groupings. And then you have dropped and risen, hunted and eaten, and thought is not anymore and eyes swivel in stutters and you are part of a swarm or school and then you are only seen and thought of by another. You are an edge, an edge. <laughs>